What's up everybody, it's Bodyhead Productions here, and today we're going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Now, Red Dead Online has recently made some major changes announcing they're going to be leaving Beta Phase. This will include more story missions, but we'll get to there shortly, more competitive modes, and more free roam activities in the online play. And seeing as how Red Dead failed to capture Steam Online, such as compared to GTA 5, I think this is a real chess move that might even even the odds. Adding these new online story missions, it's going to bring in a lot of a different player base, players like myself that have only played the campaign. These story missions draw me in, and it will get me to play the online. Regardless if it's PvP, PvE, I'm going to check this out, and there's got to be, a, if I'm thinking it, there's a lot of other people in the world thinking the same thing. Now, these missions are pretty interesting as well. Depending on the player honor level, you will go one of two ways. And they each create their own individual storyline. You're either going to draw guns against the Del Lobos and help the sheriff, or you're going to be committing more Vanderlyn gang-like crimes, you know, stagecoach robberies, banks, I assume, stealing horses, the whole nine yards. But the main thing is this adds a great change of pace because the campaign was absolutely amazing. And incorporating this into the online... Like I said, it's definitely going to get more people to hop on. Any Red Dead Redemption story I'm going to be obsessed with. One, Red Dead Redemption 1, the DLC, Undead Nightmare, Red Dead Redemption 2, all of it. It doesn't matter. If there's a Red Dead story, I am all aboard. What really helps the online play, though, is the newest playstyle changes. Offensive and defensive playstyles, and this allows the player to create the type of Red Dead experience they're looking for. So with the defensive styles catering to people that are more into world searching, PvE, skinning things, going hunting without worrying about getting aim assist rifled from 40 yards out by a random PvP player. And obviously the offensive play style is going to be, you know, you can just immediately start committing player carnage from the get-go. The main thing is we have an option now. So while I'm simply trying to cook my piece of minty big game meat while drinking some guarma rum, I don't have to worry about getting sniped anymore, which is a huge relief. That's the whole reason why I never played Red Dead Online to begin with. Because I was interested in something that I knew a lot of other players were going to stop me from doing. I mean, I've played so many games where I've killed random people walking around for no reason, so I understand the feeling, but it's really annoying in a world that cool. So like I said, I'm very excited to hop on it. Anyone who follows my channel knows I'm a huge Red Dead guy, and the excitement is back. Hopefully this will increase the popularity for the online portion of the game for Red Dead Redemption 2. Maybe level it out with GTA 5 players, but honestly, GTA 5 seems to be a never-ending anomaly until the next GTA, I guess. But guys, if you're ever trying to play some Red Dead 2, let me know. And put in the comments section anything you guys want to talk about. Thank you guys, as always. 